Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with a bare face and we are ready to start today's video. Today I wanted to do something kind of different that I personally have never seen before, but that's why I'm doing this. So the what I want to do today is I want to look at the differences between a cream base and a water activated base. So we're going to be using white. And on one side of my face, I'm going to be painting, well, face and body, I'm going to be painting using the Mayron Paradise Paint in White. And the other side, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Character Cream Base in Skeleton White. And I'm going to apply other paints on top of it, other shadows on top of it, to try to show you guys the difference in, like, the bases. <laughs> I want to show you the difference in how everything applies on a water activated base and how it applies on a cream base. So I hope that makes sense and I hope it's helpful to somebody out there and let's go ahead and get right into it. What I'm first going to go ahead and do is take the Mayron Paradise Paint and I'm just going to kind of draw a line down, a terrible, terrible line down the middle and just so I kind of know like what I'm doing so there we go. Next, I'm going to grab a kind of foundation looking brush, but this is actually a paintbrush, and I'm going to load that up with the Mayron paint. And go ahead and paint. I guess we're going to do this side with the paint. So, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And I'm going to do it how I normally do white faces when I used water activated paints. When I see it start getting streaky, oh by the way, around my eyes so hard to get. When I start to see it get streaky, I like to do like longer strokes so that way I'm trying to even it out. I also read that doing little tiny like X's back and forth helps, but I'm not too sure about that. So we're actually just going to keep it on the neck, like from the neck up, because it's going to apply the same way on the chest. And to be honest, I really don't want to take this off of my chest. So, I'm going to continue that down. I'm going to kind of talk about the pros and cons of each one as I go. An issue that I'm having right now that you can see is when I go from my neck to my face, it kind of leaves the brush marks. And then when I go to brush those out, the brush marks continue until I literally go all the way back up my face. And then you have to recover everything because then it's uneven. And then you run into the lovely streaking of water activated paint. Okay, so that's like truly the best that I could get it. Um, we will zoom in further. Okay, so we are pretty zoomed in. The eye area is hard because like you're painting over your eye and you don't want to get too close to it, but we're getting up and close and personal with my own skin texture as well. So that's the cheek area. From far away, it does look good and in pictures, you can smooth it out a little bit and it does look good. So that's that side. The next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is take the character or the cream base and I'm just gonna take some on my ring finger and what I like to do is dot it all over my face in little well, not little dots but dots and then take a flat brush this is the elf powder brush and I don't know if anyone remembers it but it used to be like huge for foundation in the early YouTube days but now we use it for paint and I'm gonna put that all over my face and just take it and blend it out. What I like about this is it has a large surface area and so it's easy to get everything covered pretty fast. Um, I like to mix between like tapping it and then using circular motions. 
I'm gonna try to meet that middle line as much as I can. And then again, take some on your ring finger and apply that to the neck. I just broke the brush. <laughs> gonna pop that sucker back on we're good we are back and I'm gonna continue that just down the neck okay well that was a lot quicker and we're gonna look at it close up okay so that's currently the cheek area and then we're gonna go to the eye you can kind of see and the forehead there's a comparison of the two the two eyes what I like about the character cream bases and just cream bases in general is the fact that one it's so much easier to get just a base of white two you don't have to deal with the streakiness of it. It applies almost like a foundation, like a thick foundation. And so you're not dealing with the streaky lines of paint. And if you go over one area a little bit more, you don't have to cover your entire face like I had to do from the neck to the face. And so the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is see how other paints apply on top of each of them. So I went ahead and set both eyelids. That is the cream eyelid. And then that is, that's the paint one. So there's that. What I'm gonna go ahead and use for this is the Mehron Brilliant palette, which is an all metallic kind of paint palette. And we're not gonna be super specific. I'm grabbing some brushes, by the way. We're not gonna be super specific with how everything's placed. I kind of want it to be messy and fun. I'm feeling kind of like weird clown. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the pink because I've not used this yet. And we're gonna start with the water activated paint side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of dot and drag. And then dot right here and drag. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Die. To be honest, both sides did apply pretty much the same. I'm going to go ahead and take the orange on that brush and do the same thing. I zoomed you in so you could kind of see. This is the water activated paint side. And I'm going to dab. And then I'm going to do the cream base side. And dab a little bit and drag. So that's the comparison of the two sides. Kind of feeling this shade right here, which is the tealy shade, the teal side. And we're gonna put it where there's no color. This paint, man, highly recommend. So that's what we're working with. And I actually want to do the exact same thing on the neck. Okay, I don't know what this is, but we're going with it. So now we kind of have like a paint application on top of these two bases. What I think really is going to be the determining factor of the two sides, like in your opinion, will be the eyeshadow application, which is what we are going to go ahead and do next. I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Thirsty palette because it has similar colors to what we're doing here, and then I will zoom you in and we will see how they apply on each side. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and we're going to go ahead and go in the shade Submerge, and we're going to start on the water, no, this is the cream side. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right in the middle and drag it above my eyebrow and we'll zoom in a little bit and I'm just patting that on and dragging it up. I'm gonna take this shade right here 
which I don't want to say. And I'm going to put it on the outer part, kind of up. And the inner part. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to the water side. And then take that pinky shade. I'm just taking it on the same brush because it's really messy, so no need to dirty more brushes. So that's how they look on both sides. That's the water side and then the cream side. I want to make like a creepy smile, like a really grungy smile. So I want to take black lipstick, I'm going to put that on and then we're going to kind of drag it out and see how it goes over both cheeks of the look. I'm actually going to be using black water activated paint for my lips because I don't want them to be stained black. We're going to draw out side and line. Okay, so that's the mouth. I feel like the mouth is a little dark for the eye, so I'm actually going to take my finger with a little bit of paint and smudge out around my eyelashes. This is kind of a tutorial and a test in one. I want it to look like bad eyeliner. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take the blue and focus that on the mouth area. And I'm going to drag it up a little bit more. Next, I'm going to take the fluffy side of that brush and take the pink and we're going to apply a little nose. And again, we'll kind of see how it applies on both sides. So that's kind of the look done. I didn't honestly expect it to look like this, but this is what my mind turns into. So there's that. We're gonna go ahead and zoom in one more time on both sides so you can kind of see the difference on how shadow and other products like paint apply to these two different bases. Okay, so this is the water side. Again, you can still see the streakiness of it, but I'm going to close my eye. There's the eyeshadow part, how it's looking on the forehead. So that's how the cream base is looking. We're going to close my eye. And then look at the forehead. There's the two sides. So now you have an idea of what a look looks like on top of a white base of both forms. Personally, I will always continue to use the cream side. For me, it works just the best. I don't have to worry about the streaky lines. I can add paint on top of it. I can add eyeshadow. I can add other cream products on top of it, and it doesn't disturb it. The paint, as much as I've used white bases before that are paint, I just prefer the cream. It's not a bad option if that's all that you have, but I highly suggest that if you continue on and you want to be a body painter and you want to do more, I would highly suggest looking into a cream base, but I just kind of wanted to show you the difference of cream versus water. And I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.